Power shot. How are you going to be a joint error with your power shot, man? Oh, okay. You couldn't go through a little bit of hell, man. A little bit. You couldn't even do it. Your power shot was put up all... He, he suffered 40 days and 40 nights, man. Not only that, he got put up on a cross. He got spit on. He got beat. Imagine all the things, man. You done read the accounts before on your power shot and all the stuff that he went through, man, for his people. And you, and you can't even suffer a little bit, man. You can't even go to camp for three hours and preach, stand up on your feet, but yet you can go stand for 12 hours for the so-called white man, make $10 an hour, and fuck you, man. If I, if I can say this, even if you can, if you, even if you go back to the story of uh, the seven sons of second Maccabees, you know, uh, I think it's chapter seven, it says that they went through, uh, they, went through uh, they, they went through a hell of a fire on their right hand, you know, so so to speak, you know, and, and after all the torments, uh, it says after all the torments that they had to go through, one of the sons said, uh, I, I am ready to die that to forsake the fathers, uh, the loss of our of my fathers. Yeah. You no, know, he was he, you know, he, and and then the, the king got so mad that I think that's when he brought up them hot them, them hot plates, right? Yeah. That's right. And that's then right. Burned them. You know. That's right, man. Cause these heathens, man, they don't care about the law, statutes, and commandments, man, or the heavenly father. They want to push their own agenda upon you, man, and that's still going on to this day, man. That's that's what it's all about, man. They try to get you to go off. That's why they got. That's why with so-called breakfast, man, they wake you up early in the morning as soon as you come. As soon as the Lord seals you with instruction, you wake up. So-called white man want to make you go off. Try to feed you a goddamn Jimmy Dean sandwich, fucking a biscuit sausage sandwich. Fuck your whole day up, man. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You gonna transgress the law at 6.30 in the morning, 4.30 in the morning, man. Before you even start. That's the, that's the philosophy of the so-called white man, you know? But you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, y'all love to have it so, man. That's how, how, how is it that you, you, you wanna have the kingdom of the most high power, but you can't even rule your diet, man. You can't even stop yourself from from, from eating shit that you ain't supposed to have. Yet alone, you can't even listen to 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 a man that is that is that a, a, a man that is well versed come to you and tell you such things and can show you and back it up not only with scripture but with history, proven fact, and medical records. Not supposed to eat this shit. Not supposed to do this. Not supposed to do that. You just being a fucking rebellious spirit, man. And every time you do that, hey, guess what? Most high got a remedy for that. It's called slavery. Exactly. That's why your mind is in the state that it is today, man. That's right. Wake the fuck up. Well, I was gonna say, you know, uh, you, you'll have you'll have Israel, you know, just saying they'll they'll be eating, uh, they'll be going through some shit. Like maybe they they get hurt, go to the hospital, or they find out they have some type of disease. And then they say, why is this happening? Why would God do this to me? You know, but at the same time, they'll go home and eat a pork sandwich. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, a pulled pork, <laughs> not, a pulled pork sandwich, man. Yeah, not knowing that they're the, they're the reason why this is happening to them, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to read this. Uh, this is 2 Maccabees chapter 7, verse 30, 32. But we suffer because of our own sins, and though the living, uh, the living Lord be angry with us a little while for our chastening and correction, and that's exactly what happens uh, when you do that. You know, when you go off and, and, and transgress the law, statutes, and commands of the Most High. You know, you're, uh, uh, you're 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 receiving chastening and correction for your actions. Uh, for you. Uh, with us a little while for our chastening and correction, yet shall he be at one again with, with his servants. And at the end of the day, you're gonna have to be destroyed for everything, you know. But once you once you once you uh, uh, get 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 that judgment, you're gonna be you're gonna come back in that right mind and be at one with the Most High. That's right, man. And then at that time, will you be able to serve? And the Most High will put, you know, His law, statutes, and commandments in your inward parts, man. You won't have to go off no more. That's a beautiful thing, man. You won't have to wrestle against this flesh, man. You won't have to wrestle against principalities and powers and all this bullshit that you have to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Why, why would you not want that, man? Why would you not have to wake up 
you know, why would you not want to have the, the ability to wake up and just be, just be ultimately free? Spiritually, physically, and everything, right? And there's only one power that can deliver you unto that. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, bring out what you got. This is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. That's good. For I will restore health unto thee. Uh, and he I will, will, it, okay. he, he will restore health unto thee. Yeah, you know, you, you have those people that say, yeah, I'm a doctor. My doctor took care of me. My doctor did this. A lot of these people, they'll worship their doctor, man. They'll worship the doctor, the power of the so-called man, you know, to deliver them out of a situation, to cure them of cancer, to cure them of diabetes cure them of whatever the hell ailment that they may have, AIDS or what have you. Well, in reality, it all comes from the Most High, man. You know, the so-called white man may want you to believe in him more so than, 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 than your power, man, the Heavenly Father. He's going to want you to believe that he's God, that he created all of this, that he got it. Yeah, that's what, it's like, that's why they, they, they're quick to go to the white man, you know, to us so-called pharmaceutical industries, you know, for, for to, to heal themselves. But, you know, not knowing that they could go to their power and ask, ask him to heal you. You know, like, it, it, just just pray to the Most High, but, you know, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Baba Kishab, Baba Kishab, Rapa Now, you know, heal me. But, but they, they're quick to go to the white man, you know, like, like it says in the scriptures, uh, roughly paraphrasing, like, uh, what father loving his son uh, his son asking him for bread would get him a stone. Yep. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know, the most high is not, if you ask him for help, he's not going to, you know, throw some... Absolutely, some, man. Some and, and if I can say this too, man, that's why the most high put herbs here, man, for healing, man. You know, there's all types of different tinctures and plants and things that you can find that will heal you of ailments, man. The scriptures tell you of those things, man. Think of, think of Egypt back in the day. They didn't have them, you know, all these other different types of medicines and all this, that, and the third that the so-called white men are created today that has millions of side effects. No. You can go right over here. You didn't have no CVS. No damn, no damn Walgreens where you can go in there and get Robitussin and all this. You had herbs, man. You had things of the earth that were natural and real that would heal you of all ailments, man. And where do you find such things? In the Holy Scriptures. Holy Scriptures tell you how to beat AIDS. Now, if you think about it, there's doctors right now that know and have the cure to all of these ailments. Cancer, AIDS, Hepatitis C, whatever you, whatever you may think of, that they say that is quote unquote incurable. So-called white man is out here for filthy lucre's sake, man. So he's gonna give you a, 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 a diluted version of something that's gonna heal your symptoms, but not take care of the actual problem. Because it's all about money, man. It's all about money, how, how rich I can get. But the scriptures tell you, man, buy the truth and sell it not. So you can already have the, you have the answer right here. And if you are, if you are a person that comes up against their, their regime, man, the, the so-called white men will put you to death. Because you got the cure for certain things, man. You fucking up his money, quote unquote. You mind you know? Go ahead. scripture where it's talking about help. You read Go ahead. You was reading about Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeremiah 30. Con, con, slot it. This is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. Just real quick. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, said Yahweh. And, and brothers were talking about herbs and, and things like that, and, and that's very true, but the other aspect of it is mental health. Mm -hmm. you, could, you could be healed just by getting some understanding of who you are. You could, you could heal yourselves of a lot of pain, especially. But once you release sort of, sort of some of that pent up bullshit that you walk around with, that can help you heal right there. That can open, that, that can loosen up your muscles, allow you to digest your food better. You start to understand who you are, you start to get into the word, you start to understand who your how about Shemi Al Shai is, just calling on that name. It's, it's, that's great mental health right there. That's right. You no longer walking around like a, like a, a, a sheep that's full of all kind of medicines. You walking around like a man, upright, knowing and trusting that Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is coming back. So a man that's standing tall like that, his health is gonna be better than a man that's still wandering around thinking he a, a thug ass nigga, 
or you know everything is about my clothes everything is about my shoes that's poor mental health that's you're, right. in a, you're in a very poor mental state okay. and, and all you, your, if your mental health is poor your whole body is going to follow right along with that that's why you look at these niggas in the projects they have these weird weird body frames hella skinny <laughs> you know what i mean mamas crack babies and all that stuff poor mental health is, is what you see out here in the world today but, yeah, but when you have the great mental health that comes from your how about Shemi al you can live. And if you if you if your mind is clear, then you won't eat bullshit. You won't be trapped in a McDonald's diet. You won't be trapped in a Taco Bell. We was over there talking about Taco Bell a few minutes ago. I got it. You won't be trapped in a Jack in the Box diet. Some people pull up to those fast fast food pictures and their and their mind is just blown away like Look at all this good shit. Ah. But if you're in the right mind frame, you look, you, you'll you know you're doing wrong. You pull up there, you're trying to hide, look around, see who's watching you. Yeah, man. <laughs> you're trying to twist the order up. No cheese, no this. And you make sure you don't cook it nowhere near no. Man, get your ass out of that line. Yeah, you're in a gluttonous spirit, man. Yeah. You're in a real gluttonous spirit, man. You know damn well you ain't supposed to be doing certain things like that. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. And it reads, If any man have an ear, let him hear. Mm -hmm. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Mm -hmm. go he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. So when you get the understanding of beautiful scriptures like that, that's that's great mental health. I'm, I'm going to be taken care of. I ain't got to worry about it. Once you release that, that, that slave to money, slave to women, slave to the clothes you have on, slave to the car you drive. Once you're able to release all that stuff, your mind is clear, that's great mental health. You can walk around and do the things that you can do. You can walk around and see different shit that's going on that people don't even see. Good. You're able to decipher through the world with a clear conscience. See that, Jack. Oh, it's a lot, y'all. I'm, I'm good, you got it. <laughs> Come in. Do your thing. Go ahead, read that one more time. Revelation 13 and 9. Another one, another beautiful one. Revelation uh, 2 and 9. That's another beautiful one. Go ahead. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall the go into captivity. white man lead the people, the, especially the tribe of Judah, into captivity. He did. I don't need an answer. He did. So he will be going into captivity. That's, man, boom. Mine is clear right there. Right. Sometimes, like I used to say, it's like a grenade goes off in your mind. And all that bullshit, the grenade blew all that bullshit up. <laughs> and when the dust settles, you kind of like, man, man, that's what's up, man. I'm shit, I'm a Hebrew Israelite at least. At the very least, I got a chance. Like, I'm in the game now. Okay. <laughs> I still got to fight. <laughs> but I'm on the roster. I mean, I don't know if I'm a play, but I'm on the roster, right? right? Right. Oh, no, uh, two and nine. This is Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. Mm -hmm. And it reads, I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know the blasphemy but of thou them. Art rich. And it's brought as and when you read it the right way, that's talking about us. Yeah. That's talking about our nation. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's just like a one line that opens up your mind like, damn, that's very true. That's right. We are in poverty, but at the same time, we're rich. What are we rich in? We're rich in the spirit. Right. We're rich in all things. All things that matter. Right. Not all things that's bullshit. We, yeah, we don't have a Bugatti, but who the fuck wants that anyway? It's just another car to break down on your ass. That's mm -hmm. right. That's more expensive to fix it. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Go ahead. Con. And I know the blasphemy of them would say they are Jews. Obadiah verse 10 is another one. Here. Ooh, and are not, but are the synagogue so of Satan. I'm reading, I said, man, well, well, damn, I'm a Jew. What about them over there? The scriptures clearly break down who that is. They are not the so-called, they are not the Jews. They are the synagogue of Satan. I said, damn, that's great mental health right there. That's right. I'm, I'm walking even more confident. 
And then as you get your mind open, yeah, you'll start to go toward the herbs and things like that. But that mental health is, is, is important, very important. God, God. You can eat all the herbs you want, but still be a nigga thinking that you are a thug, this, that, and the other. And when you part of them, right? Exactly, calling on, get a picture of uh, uh, white Jesus, as they call it. Wow. You, you, you eating all the herbs, you a vegan, the whole nine, but you still thinking that that's your salvation. Yeah. That's, right. that's, that's not good health. That's, you know what that's, that's why the scripture say when the last time we start out, Set up a Romans 13 11. It's high time to awake down to sleep, man. You know, because we had to wake our people up and shake them up. You know, because like the one said, you can eat all the herbs and salads and all you want to be in shape. You can run 9 8, like you same boat. But if your head ain't right, man, you're going to die. You're going to perish, man. That's right. You're the head. You're not healthy in the mind like the brother. That's right. That's right. That's right. You finished with that one? Yeah, man. Oh, God. I did have that. No, I mean, just Jeremiah 30. It actually, what y'all talking about, the verse I read, the verse before that goes into what you're talking about. So this is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them. I don't have to go to the store and get myself an AR-15 and try to hunt online for a, a, a bulletproof vest, all that kind of shit like that. I don't have to do that. That's great mental health. So I'm saying, I mean, you, you, get, you get caught up into the ways of the world and that's constantly pulling you down, pulling you down, pulling you down. Because you'll never make it. As many guns as you buy, you'll never have enough. That's right. As many bullets you buy, you'll never have enough. As many canned goods you buy, you'll never have enough. Right. Water the whole nine. Right. When you get into the right spirit, the spirit of your about Shemir al that's when everything starts to open up. That's when you start to be healthy. That's when you start to go in the right direction. Yeah, sober-minded, you know what I'm saying? You're right state of mind.